Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and today we're going to be making yet another geometry nodes setup. Uh, this time we're going to be creating some vegetation. Let me go to my scene, the main scene. Oh, this is my second channel called Top Channel One on One Two. To get the time lapse versions of the live streams, they're going to be on this uh, uh, channel. So yeah. Okay, so let's see what we're going to be making, which is this thingy here. It's a kind of a glowing. A growing plant this is going to be part of my quick trees uh vegetation collection uh if you have quick trees this is just an, a library of uh, different trees very light trees so you can uh, duplicate them as many as much as you want also have uh, other geometry node setups uh, for trees in here that i think i will be looking at uh, for anyone who might be interested like uh, for example let me see grass collection i have this is also made with geometry nodes uh, this uh, plant here is also made with geometry nodes so we'll be looking at these setups uh, for anyone who might be interested i'll be making a bunch of tutorials to show you how you can uh, make uh, these stations so let's see how to set this up so obviously we're going to start with a, a curve object this is going to help us uh, have control add the functionality of uh, drawing being able to draw uh, the curve uh, so let me get rid of this and just have one like this so the first thing we want to do is to have some instances of these i don't know how they are called but uh, maybe roots uh, that are going to be dropping down like that uh, let me get rid of this okay so to do that we are just going to jump into geometry nodes here uh, I will just uh, expand this a bit and uh, set up a new geometry nodes. So as you know that uh, curves in geometry nodes already have points and we can look at this by changing this to, uh, to points, curve to points, using the curve to points feature. You can see we have points uh, there. You can uh, increase the count or reduce the count like uh, that. So each curve here, each point here can be, can have another instance of a curve or instance of an object at it. So let, let's get that. We're just going to use a mesh line, a mesh line, uh, which is just a, a, a vertical line. It can be horizontal, but uh, in this case, we just want a horizontal line uh, that goes down uh, like, uh, like that. I, I want to set this to a value of one, but I, I guess let me set it to a value of negative one so that it's just going down like that. And I want it to be at uh, instance at every point of the curve so what i'm going to do is use instances on curve on points and uh, since we have points our points from the curve are like this let me turn on my shortcut so that you can see what i'm doing shortcut so yeah since we have our points here we can use these points as the points and then this line as the instance so it will be duplicated on every point we have but we still want the original line uh, so i'm going to use a join geometry like this connect this here and then there and now we should have uh, both like that uh, now if we look at uh, the original versions from quick trees for my quick trees uh, this here mm. yeah let's add those flower flower things i think i also did i make those inside uh, geometry nodes i don't remember but maybe i guess I guess I could show you. Yeah, we, we could make the leaf directly in geometry nodes. We can use something like a curve, uh, a circle, a circle curve, uh, which looks uh, like that. We can reduce, just basically trying to make it look like a leaf. We can use a few segments like uh, that. Uh, we can also use a fill curve so that it has some volume to it. And uh, we, we also want to shape it to, into a leaf so I can do a set, a scale elements, a scale elements, uh, which will let me scale uh, this like that. But uh, we need to change from uniform scale to axis so that we can scale this on the, let's see, yeah, on the Y, on the X axis like that uh, so that it looks like a leaf. We also need this anchor or pivot point to be at the end here so i'm going to use a set position and uh, move this i think uh, 0.5 is it 0.5 no yeah like that uh, i guess it's 
one one a position like that uh, if we look at uh, the wireframe of this you can see how this looks can even sub uh, add more resolution if i want i guess it's not necessary i want to be able to bend this curve this around here and uh, i don't think this shape is going to give us that uh, option very well i want uh, if we have another edge right in here it would uh, make things much easier uh, if you want to bend this but, uh, it doesn't seem like uh, i can easily do that uh, let me show you how to make this bend uh, like that so that uh, we have that shape uh, we just need to get a set pos uh, we just need to have another set position here let me first get rid of this and uh, grab a position node uh, separate it and I use a combine another combine node uh, because we want to offset the Z and that says so I can grab this here and uh, use the Z values or the Y values in the Z and uh, that gives me uh, that and uh, if I add a float curve I've explained this a few times in uh, different videos hopefully it's uh, not too confusing I can bend this like uh, that now the issue we are having here is that uh, we don't have enough geometry uh, in here uh, to create that and uh, there isn't an, a, a, an easy way to to do this with a with a curve let me see if we try a subdivide a subdivide mesh uh, we can add more geometry but it's also going to add geometry in areas we may not want the geometry to be or we can use a subdivision surface like that and uh, maybe i can have this before uh, the bend uh, so that we have enough geometry there i can see we have offset the position so i can bring this back so that is directly on the uh, then i can uh, set smooth like that uh, that's that's enough for our leaf now we can control how uh curvy that surface is you can if you want you can also give this a slight rotation uh, uh, remove this rotation here by using a transform node so i can do a transform node and uh, just remove uh, i think this rotation and uh, just so everything is clear like that and that should make instancing this much easier i'm going to group this or frame this you can name this uh, i don't know leaf so we have our leaf and uh, we have this so we want to instance this uh, if we look at uh, the original version you can see we can instance this on all of these points like that but uh, let's first give these some thickness so um i can do so let's see this is a, a line this is a mesh line uh, this is a curve i can do i can do a curve to mesh I want to give the thickness this top line horizontal line a thickness so I can do a mesh a curve to mesh and uh, give it a profile a circle curve profile like that and I can reduce the radius and the resolution like that and basically repeat this uh this setup here of these instances these vertical instances now we are getting an error here uh, because we are trying to convert a curve to mesh but uh, these inst these are instances not curves so we need to realize them realize instances uh, so that they become a mesh and uh, then convert mesh to curve to curve because you can't convert instances directly to curves you have to convert them to a mesh uh, by using the re realize instances 
and that now we have thickness to them uh, so if you look closely these have some uh, they are a bit wiggly uh, so I don't know if that's the right word but uh, I'm going to use that uh, so here um, before after we, we, we realize instances we can uh, add some noise to to the curve so we can either set position and uh, get a combine here set it to the offset and you can see we can offset these like that and another thing we could do is add a random random value to the x and that should uh, give us some distortion like that it's a cheap way to get some randomization but you can also use uh, a noise texture noise texture uh, noise uh, as that gives you more control over everything you can even amplify or add a math node to control the strength a math node with the operation of multiply to control the strength like that uh, usually the noise uh, the noise texture comes with uh, an addition of 0.5 so we can remove that to uh, make sure that uh, this when you add noise uh, even the top uh, points of these uh, instances are also displaced detaching them from the main uh, branch or stove whatever it's called uh, so to remove that we need to make sure that uh, only uh, as we have more noise at the bottom than at the top here so that these always stay attached to the points here so what we can do is uh, get a proximity node which is going to because we want to get how close uh, how close these are this the, the points we want to displace here are to the main stock and uh, the closer they are the less distortion we want or the less displacement we want so we're going to use this proximity and the target is uh, the points from uh, the main stock so I'll get this and then the source position we're just going to use uh, the position i'm not sure if this is even necessary because maybe the source position is the source position let's see so then we can get the distance which is going to be distance from each of these points from their stock so if we multiply this to the origin to this here yeah let's i guess we need the source position for that oh you need to make sure that uh, you are using points instead of uh, faces because I remember we have cup points here these two faces it won't work you need to make sure that it's it's points and uh, you don't really need the position because uh, the source position is going to be the position of these points here and you can see it doesn't matter how much uh, let me how much displacement we add here uh, the these are going to always be attached to those control points now we don't want that much displacement we want very settled displacement and that uh, we can add more resolution Ah, I see. So I want to add more resolution to this, but uh, when you increase uh, the count, it just makes uh, this longer. What we want to do is uh, just change from offset to endpoint so that uh, the endpoint is always one. Or we can just. Yeah, we can set it to negative one. And that way, increasing uh, the count just increases the, uh, the, uh, the resolution. Uh, the resolution of the mesh uh, but uh, we need a way to, to scale this up or scale it down make them longer we can use a scale element here and uh, we need to scale edges like that but uh, it's scaling it from the center so instead of using the center we can use an xy uh, we can use a zero zero and that was scale it are from are from their original point instead of the center and now if i change the noise can play with the noise scale like that and now to add the leaves uh, since we already have the leaves or the leaf we can do uh, an instance instance on points like this here now also we need this geometry back the original geometry back so we can do a join geometry and then bring this as the instance and you can see what we 
have. Uh, we also want these uh, they're a bit too scaled up, so I'm going to scale them down a bit like that. They're facing in the same direction, like that, which is not something we want. We can do a random, we can use uh, the normal of the faces, the normal of the geometry uh, to affect the rotation of these. So I can do normal and then align Euler to vector so that the rotation of these instances is aligned to the normal direction of the mesh so like that and then connect this to the rotation and you can see we have that we can also introduce some more randomization so if we add a rotate euler we can inc add more rotation to this but i want that rotation to be random so i can grab a, an x a combine so that i can separate the x y and uh, z and uh, now i can use a random random value here to rotate uh, these randomly. I can do that, uh, I don't know, thank you. Uh, maybe not too much. You can play with uh, your own values. It's a, okay, let's just use one for all. Maybe not the Z, I don't know. Maybe the Z, but not the Y. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so we have, yeah, you, you, you can add more control. We have too many of these points. So what I can do to remove some of them, but I want to remove them in a random way. I'm going to just use a random operator or a random node, a random value. But this time, instead of using float, we can just use Boolean. Uh, that's going to give us a probability value. So I can use uh, this control how many points I have. You can even play with the seed. If you want, you can expose this uh, like a did. I think, did I expose it? I don't think I exposed it, uh, but uh, you can expose it uh, so that you can control. Uh, let me just show you how to expose. You just need a group input. You just use the probability here and maybe the seed. You can rename these in the group node here. So for the seed, I can see random Optimization. Uh, so I can uh, do that here. Yes, and I uh, also added some thorns, basically replacing the leaf uh, with a thorn uh, to get a thorn. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Maybe next time we can look at uh, how to make this this plant using geometry nodes and uh, exposing some parameters. I really like how this came out. And, yeah, thank you.